Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that in a software game, betting average is the number of hits divided by the number of times at bat. The table shows the number of times at bat and hits that players at Woodland Middle School team had in last season. Order the players from greatest to least based on their batting averages. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the question we are given the table showing the number of times at bat and hits that players at Woodland Middle School team had in last season. Now we have to order the players from greatest to least based on their batting averages. Now in the question it is given that batting average is the number of hits divided by the number of times at bat. So first of all we will find the batting average of each player. Now Chris hits are 36 and he is at bat 45 times. So his batting average is the number of hits that is 36 upon the number of times he is at bat that is 45. Now Jerk's hits are 48 and he is at bat 55 times. So his batting average is 48 by 55. Similarly for Juliana batting average will be 34 by 40. Then for Victor batting average will be equal to 63 by 81. And for Wilson batting average will be equal to 38 by 50. Now let us convert these fractions into decimals. Now 36 by 45 is equal to 0 0.8. 48 by 55 is equal to 0 0.87272 and so on which can be written as 0 0.872 bar. Now here we are putting a bar on the digits 72 which means this group of digits is repeating. Now 34 by 40 is equal to 0 0.85 63 by 81 is equal to 0 0.77 and so on which can be written as 0 0.7 bar and 38 by 50 is equal to 0 0.76. Now we have to order the players from greatest to least based on their batting averages. So let us plot these batting averages on a number line. Now here we have drawn a number line on which we will plot these batting averages. Now Chris batting average is 0 0.8 or you can say 0 0.80. So let us plot 0 0.80 on the number line. Now this point represents the batting average of Chris. Now Jack's batting average is 0 0.872 bar or 0 0.87272 and so on which is a non-terminating decimal. Now 0 0.872 72 and so on is greater than 0 0.870 or 0 0.87. Now on a number line 
आफ्टर 0.87 और 0.870, द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विल बी 0.871, देन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विल बी 0.872, एंड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विल बी 0.873 एंड सो ऑन so we will put 0.872 bar after 0.87 on a number line which represents batting average of jack now let us plot the point 0.85 now this is the point 0.85 which represents batting average of juliana now victor's batting average is 0.777 and so on which is greater than 0.77 or 0.770 now on a number line the next point after 0.77 or 0.770 is 0.771 then 0.772 then 0.773 and so on then we will have 0.777 then 0.778 then 0.779 and then 0.780 which is equal to 0.78 from this it is clear that 0.777 is closer to 0.78 This means the decimal 0.7 bar will lie between 0.77 and 0.78, but it will be closer to 0.78. So we will plot the point 0.7 bar closer to 0.78, and this represents the batting average of Victor. And now we will plot 0.76, and this represents the batting average of Wilson. Now, from this number line, you can see that Jack's graph is to the right of all other players. So we can write Jack. is to the right of all other players so jack's average that is jack's batting average is the greatest and here wilson is to the left of all other players so wilson's average that is wilson batting average is the least since on a number line the numbers with position on the right are greater than the numbers with positions on the left therefore from the number line we have zero point eight seven two bar is greater than zero point eight five is greater than 0.80 is greater than 
seven bar is greater than zero point seven six. So ordering the players from greatest to the least based on their batting averages, we have the player with the greatest batting average that is Jack and the next player is Juliana then the next is Chris the next is Victor and then the player with the least batting average that is Wilson so this is the solution of the given question that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.